Hey guys, Chad Trofgerbin here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a contact form to your Joomla website. This will allow your viewers to interact with you and to contact you if they have questions or comments. Also, it will keep your email address hidden from them so you won't be a victim to spam and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and log into our Joomla website through our admin dashboard here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is create a category for the contact. Now, this is useful if you have multiple contacts on your website. Let's say you have different staff members and all that kind of stuff. So, we go to components, contacts, and then categories. And you have to do this in order to add a contact. So even if you have one contact, you still have to do this. So once you do that, just go to new, and we'll be taken to this page. And now I'm simply going to name this category staff, just like that. And everything else you can leave as is, and we'll go to save. Once you have that, we're gonna to go to components, contacts, and then contacts. And then we're going to go to new. And now we are going to create a contact profile for you so that you can set this contact profile to a menu item so then people can contact you. So the first thing you can do is put in your name. I'll just put in my name. And of course you can put in your last name if you want to, that's completely up to you, or you can put in you know whatever you want for a name basically. Um, we'll leave it as published of course. The category, we're going to set the staff because that's the only category we have. Linked to user. Now this allows you to link your contact information to your other user profile on the website. I only have one user profile right now, and that's administrator. And so I advise you to do the same since you are the webmaster of your own website. Now we come down to this kind of information right here. Now the thing is, you can exclude whatever information you want, or you can include whatever you want. So for instance, if you don't want your fax number or your phone number included on your contact information, you can go ahead and exclude that through the contact parameters right here. You would just click hide on fax and hide on mobile number. So I'm just gonna go through here and add some basic information really quick. So for contacts position, I'll put webmaster. For email, you don't have to put this in if you don't want it to be shown. And again, you can hide it right up here. However, I'm going to put it in right now just for the sake of putting it in. That way, you can go ahead and see how it, this all works out here. Street address, again, I'm going to leave that blank because I really don't want people to know where I live. <laughs> Same with um, all this stuff right here. Um, my website address, I'll put that in. and miscellaneous information. This allows you maybe to put like, you know, whatever information you want people to know. For instance, maybe you have multiple contacts on your website. You can put in the information here. Please contact me if you have website problems because maybe you have another contact on your website that's mainly for something else, you know, something like that. And you can select an image if you want to. You're gonna have to upload this externally but once you have it in your directory, you can go ahead and choose your image and put it on there. So your image will appear on the page then next to your contact information. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and hide all the information I don't want. And again, you can put all that information in if you so choose. It just, I really would rather not have all that information exposed on my um, a contact information. Now, here you can put different icons and stuff for your fields. For instance, next to your address field, you would have an icon. It just kind of makes it look a bit more spiffy, but and it, since I don't have any of this stuff anyway on there, I'm just gonna leave that blank. And for the email parameters, you can go ahead and show the email. You can all, the email form, and you can put a description for it. 
Also, you can go ahead and ban certain things. Like, what's, let's say someone is sending you a bunch of emails, malicious emails or something, you can ban their email address by simply putting it in here. Or let's say subjects, certain subjects you're getting spam about, you can ban those. Text, of course, you can ban certain text. So let's go ahead now and hit save. And now we are going to put this contact form on the website. So we go to menus, main menu, and we're gonna to go to new. And all this should be familiar to those who saw my other tutorial. And now instead of going to articles, we're gonna to go to contacts. And now you have the ability to have a contact, cate uh, contact category layout or a standard layout. Now again, if you have multiple contacts, the category layout might be a good choice because it'll display all of the contacts within that certain category, like my staff category, for instance. But since I only have one contact for this website, I'm just gonna select this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and name the menu item contact me. It's gonna be on the top. The contact is already selected since that's the only contact I have in there. And I'm going to go ahead and leave everything the way it is. And again, you can set up this kind of stuff too, the ban list and all that stuff through the menu item if you so choose. Once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and hit apply. And then I'm going to come back to my website here and just refresh the page really quick. We will now have a contact item right here. Go ahead and click that. And there you go. You now have a form for people to contact you. They can enter their name, e um, email address, subject, and send you a message. And of course, once you get the message, then you can reply. Now keep in mind, when you reply, you're gonna obviously be exposing your email address then. So if that is an issue, you might wanna be a little bit careful to who you're replying to. And that's pretty much it. I recommend you go through and you can, again, edit some of those parameters such as the address, your city, and all that kind of stuff if you so choose. And that's all there's really, there really is to it. I do recommend though that you do test it though. Just like send, just fill this out really quick and send a copy to yourself just to be sure that it's working. And once you do that, you are good to go. All right, well that does it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.